fuck off, fuck yeah. Oh, oh yeah. You. Sorry, go on. Yeah, let's take, don't get upset, mate. You know what I mean? It's Dude, just... ain't nobody upset. You're just a giggling hyena. You're just annoying, that's all. I'm sorry about to, you know, show your mirror to your own bullshit. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm sorry I know you said truth. it. Yeah, I know. You're just a giggling hyena that has showed me the way. I got it. I'm glad, I'm glad. Oh, you know what I mean? Just don't get upset, man. <laughs> Dude, I'm not upset. You're a giggling hyena no, that upset. has shown me the way. Stay I'm calm. not upset. Take a deep, take a deep breath. Count to ten. Dude, right? you sh- okay, let me do it this way. You are a giggling hyena that has shown me the way. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can see where they have problems. I mean, I can see where they have problems with the belief thing, but I can also see kind of where Slick's coming from with the, you know, knowing your name. You don't need to believe that. I know that. Well, of course, yeah. You, you have a belief in your own name, right? Because you can't clarify that no. you was named it. How do you oh, know your name's your God. name? Yeah, you got it, such I, a thing as a birth certificate, dude. It's a knowledge. A name is a knowledge. Dude, yeah, it's the I'm same done. thing with the it's the same thing with the tree. The tree doesn't need to identify itself as a tree. The tree doesn't need a name to exist. Neither do I. No, that's not equivalent. Um, so uh, Jeremy, it is equivalent. Jeremy, I'm talking to Jeremy. Well, I'm talking to you, Giggles. But I'm talking to you, Giggles. Are you sure you're the best talk to me calmly? I'm just saying, I'm talking to you, Giggles. If you don't right, want well, me to talk Je- to you, Jeremy, just say don't talk to me. Jeremy said something. I'd like to address first. That Go ahead. You, that you, you can't know your name because you can't clarify when you was named it. If somebody brings up a piece of paper, you can't use that as evidence for your name, really, because you wasn't there when it was established. You have no recollection of it. You have to have some level of, of belief in your own name, regardless of what you say. I don't know. I don't think so. Well, explain I mean, to me why not. Explain to me why not. People have been calling me Jeremy my whole life. It's on my birth certificate. It's on my driver's license. I wrote down on the top huge of huge amounts of yeah, justification paper. for your belief. You believe it? So you believe it? Mm. No, I know. I know that's my name. I no, mean, you believe it's your name. I don't know. I, I you think can't, I know you can't it. know it. You weren't there when your mum named you. You can't remember that day, can you? If you said belief, how do you know your mum's mum's birth to, birth date? You weren't there when she was born. You don't know when when her birth is really. You just have to believe it because of the knowledge and experience you've picked up through your life. It's a belief. What's well, She named me. me. If she wrong. Named is it wrong? Please, please point out how it's wrong. We know our names. We trust it, and we know. Yeah, you trust. Trust is belief, in it? You believe? Not quite. Not the name. Yeah, no, one hundred percent is. If you entered it with your own eyes and you heard it from your mum when she's born, or your day of birth, or your name, it's a belief. It becomes a knowledge. It becomes a knowledge. It doesn't my mum named me. It's a belief. No. My mom, you, didn't, you didn't experience it, like like Slick says. You don't experience it, right? If you haven't experienced it, it's a belief. So you have a belief in your own name. Saying, you don't know your own name. You, you don't? just believe it. I, I know my own name because I, I do believe it. I believe that my 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 mom named me. I believe when my mom told her I was born. I believe. Yeah, but I have a belief. I have. I'm not the one who doesn't have a you belief. Right. Okay. I I'm not the one. Don't believe you know your name until you tell me your name. I, I believe my in my own name. I don't. I don't. You know your name. You're deluded. It's so, it's so so hard to get a word in edgewise. Sorry, sorry, Jeremy. Uh, sorry, man. Me, if my mom named me David, right? But now I believe my name is Jeremy. There's no, there's no belief in that. Like it doesn't matter what she, if she named me something different back then. Right now, I know fact. My name is Jeremy. You don't know for a fact. You believe your name is Jeremy because of no, what that, you've been told. Is right. No, no, that you believe that you can't clarify when you was named. I just told you if my mom named me David when I was born, and somehow. My name got changed to Jeremy throughout the way. Right now, that I know for a fact, no belief. You believe? That's my name. You believe it? You can't just know it. You I believe? Do know you're, it. You you don't. You think you know it, but you wasn't there when you was named, so you don't know. You believe you if your if name is Jeremy. That's it. Like it's as simple mind. as that. You have a belief, mate. Like whether you like it or not, it doesn't when matter what born. you say, really, because you're not willing to admit that you have a belief in your own name. You don't. Well, therefore. You, you believe your name, even if you know it for the highest possible confidence. You wasn't there. Right. You never experienced it. You don't know. So you believe because people called you that name for your whole life. You believe no. your name, Stop You're bringing You're saying all knowledge is belief now. now. That's on, ridiculous. We're going to have a different words for a reason. Oh, Jeremy. Jeremy. Stop, stop bringing Jeremy, up the, the... Day I, hold, hold on. Stop bringing up the day I was born. I already addressed that, if you listened. If my mom named me David the day I was born, somehow throughout the... Throughout the way, my name got changed. It's irrelevant. 
Right now, I know my name's Jeremy. There's no belief in that. I wasn't there when I was born. How do you know your name? How do you know your name's Jeremy? That's my name. It's not my birthday. How do you know it? How do you know it? Just answer it. Just answer the question. How do you know that your name's Jeremy? I'm telling you. Okay. I'm telling you. When people call, when people say Jeremy, I know they're addressing me usually. Unless so if I call, so I call you Jabroni, is your name Jabroni? No. If I call you Jabroni, does that change it? Because I can call you Jabroni. Is that now your name, Jabroni? I mean, we're talking about nicknames or like legal. No, just, just you could I'm call him Tater Tot, that? but he still exists no matter what his name is. I'm just saying, like, my name's on my birth certificate, it's on my driver's license. People yeah, call and that's me why that. you believe it's your name. That's why you believe it. Uh, Tell me, I believe so, it's not. So Jeremy. juvenile. It's, just, it's just it's just a belief, bro. That's I'm, I'm trying to show Sleek that it's a belief. You believe in your own name, like that's it. It's a belief. No, he he doesn't have really any beliefs on any sort of level. That's the juvenileness. I know my name, what my name is, because I believe it. Regardless, it's not something I know. It's something that I believe. It's an argument, though. It's it's Jeremy, silly, like... Couldn't get any weaker. Jeremy, a belief is not something bad. It's still justified to believe something. And then to believe. Is. Yeah, I'm then what's I, the I, point I, of I not have, having it? I have yeah. belief. But this believing in your name thing just seems like ridiculous. Like, it, but I'm just showing you how ridiculous that Slick James is. That's the reason I brought the. There's the reason this question's even up here because I'm trying to show this guy that he has beliefs on every sort of level. But he, even on the level of what is your own name? Oh, I, I wasn't there when I never experienced my birth. You experienced it. So how do you know your name's your name? You never experienced your mother's birth. So how do you know she's your mother? You've just been told that she's your mother. How do you know that your own mum is your own mum? Because you went there to clarify it. So. This whole this is this is this is only ridiculous because it's me showing Slick how ridiculous he is to say he has no beliefs. That's the only reason it's ridiculous. I don't personally think that you know. I believe that my mother's my mother. I believe that my name is my name. I don't have a problem admitting that I have a belief. I'm not the one who's in denial. Do you understand? So you, you guys having a go at me is the wrong person. This is Slick. Brummy, let me ask you this: Do you believe that you were successful in convincing me that I have beliefs? Do you believe you were successful? Um, I believe that you. I brought you. I brought your attention to the fact that you're okay. you're, in, you're in a contradiction to yourself. So, yeah. I so believe you believe you know that? Me, I know. Me okay. Me so heart. you believe? Know, hold on. I believe that. I okay. Believe now that. hold on. So you believe that I contradicted myself? I believe that you know. I brought you aware to your contradiction because you I know. Thought, so you be, so you believe that, right? Yeah, I believe that because you. Do, okay. Right? Thank you. I heard you. you. Thank right, you. Let me finish. Let me finish. You've demonstrated. Dude, I don't I need you to it, finish. The reason I believe it is because you've demonstrated every time someone right. brings you to when you know you're wrong, so, you intentionally so you, you intentionally avoid answering the question directly. Okay. You intend to okay, do it. So so there's, a, there's a sign okay. of intent within within your behaviour, and it's shown so over and over that. again. So you believe that? I believe that because it's evident of the okay. evidence presented. Yeah. Okay. Now hold on. Now you said you believe it. Now is it a fact or do you just believe it? I believe that. Okay, so you just a belief then, right? Yeah, I believe that, yeah. Thank you. And it's still a fact. Something can be believed and still a fact. Huh, oh, so like, what's a fact again? I, for example, I believe a that... Fact is a, rea a fact is reality. And so I believe. What would a name be? Would that be reality or... A name is, a no, name? a name is just something that people use for communication, like a tree. The tree doesn't call itself a tree, but people use trees so that they'll know what they're talking about when they communicate with each other. So it's the same... You... It's this, hold on. It's the same with a name. The name is only a thing that people will know what they're talking about when they communicate. The person is not their name. They are not the name itself. They're just identified by that name. How long did it take you to figure all this out slick and who thinks otherwise all in a in a, in a uh, gravel gargle like you figured it out in a, a quick gargle of gravel that's the point faggot gravel and i didn't say act like a robot i said address the point what point of what i just it's asked you well, about how long it took to figure this out? I didn't put. I didn't start a stopwatch. I don't have a stopwatch well, on. Like the point is, you're not telling us anything we don't already know. You're explaining this as though it's something that you have recently, uh, you know, been enlightened on. Okay, so if that's the case, then what are we talking about? Why are we having this conversation? If that's the case, that's my question. Why are we? Why are right. you explaining this as if nobody realizes? That's this? what I'm saying. If that's the case why are we having this conversation so because the first time I, it should have been over 
It should have been over the first time I brought it up. It should have never even got any legs it's because true. we all understood this to be the case. You don't even know your mother. Is your mother? Because it's pointless. If you walk up to somebody on the street, are we using the word belief, no, fact, and think? Like, are those all interchangeable, meaning the same thing? Or, or... How do you know your mother is your mother? How do you, how do you believe it? You believe it? Thank you, Because if you, if you... Sorry, mate. If sorry. You walk, I won't interject anymore, so... Go on. If you walked up to somebody on the street and said, do you think your name is Jeremy? And their name was Jeremy, they would all say yes. If you walked up to people on the street and said, do you know your name's Jeremy? They would all say yes. And they'd say, you could use think, believe, you could exchange that with every... You could exchange all those words in the same sense, and everyone would say yes. Yeah, Jeremy, I would say there are two types of beliefs. Belief based on faith and belief based on evidence and justified uh, experience and data from reality. And you cannot lump th those two types of beliefs into, into one. That is, but that is my view, what I would regard belief as. And as such, I would regard those beliefs as perfectly justified, which are backed by real reality. And the, the word is even often used in some. We believe that this cure will be the best possible. Right. Well, hold on. Would would even having a name be fact, considering is it's man made is given? It's it's just for communication, Pyro. The only thing a name is for, so that people will know who they're talking about when they bring a name. <laughs> up. If a person doesn't have a name, you would have no idea. No, no. But here's the thing: is it still considered a fact, name or is irrelevant it... to whether or not you have a fucking name and know what it is? What do you mean, guys? What do you mean, guys? Say again. I've got to explain that. I didn't. I didn't quite hear it. Someone speaking at the same. Time. The purpose of a name is irrelevant to you knowing your name, or whether or not you have one, or whether you know it. These are two different issues that Slick is attempting to conflate for no purpose other than worthless fucking obfuscation. Obfuscation, that's exactly what he does every time he's presented with something that contradicts his, his statement. His original statement is that he does not have beliefs. And every time someone brings up something that contradicts it, this is what he does. He does not well, have maybe, But you have to consider that you're not smart enough to understand what I'm saying. You've got to consider that. No, Curve just... Oh, he has to consider that from you. No. Well, then there you go. Curve just pointed out. It's just obfuscation. You ain't answering the question. Is Curve not... the king? Is Curve the motherfucking king or some shit? Why are yeah, you on your knee? Pretty much, yeah. No. <laughs> you act like because Curve spoke all of Obvi a sudden. Obfuscation, just... obfuscation. It's like Curve just said. Let's, let's go back to the question. Let's go back to the Fuck question. Out of here. Let's get back Curve to the question. Just said. Answer, answer yeah, let's get question. back to it. Answer let's Curve's get back question. To it. Dude, the question didn't even make any sense. He just rattled rattled off some word salad. No, he said that. You know, go on. I didn't even ask a question. I mean, it's basically he, just some, <laughs> he just made some words. He spoke some words. Yeah. So he did, he pointed out that you're just obfuscating. It's nothing to do with the point of whether you have. Yeah, a he made some that. word salad and then threw in the word conflate, and then he, that means that I'm the most. Not not smart smart to understand what it's I was word saying. Salad, dude. So you divert to calling it word salad because you're stupid. Okay, thank you. Note it, duly note it. Remember it. So anyway, Jeremy, get back to understanding or misunderstanding this. Without Slick trying to come in and black knight for you. Sorry, did you say my name? I was weed whacking i don't know you tell me is it your name or not it sounded like well i mean i i, I actually explained this if you went up to 100 people named jeremy and you say do you think your name is jeremy they're gonna say yes if you, you know it's a fact your name is jeremy, they're gonna say yes like they're gonna say yes to all of them believe every every one of those questions just replacing the word okay what do you think your crux is here with the problem what what is your major point with this jeremy uh, all those words seem interchangeable. So, like, I, I don't, I don't know, I don't understand. All right, what about what was it, Lori or Miss? No, oh, I think it was Mister Logo that told you about like two different aspects of belief, two different meanings for belief. 
Did you hear a word of it? The the, ba- the one based on evidence, and then the one where like well, I believe in God, or you know I believe my name is Jeremy. That's that's I would say that's a big. Okay, a so you were saying you cannot, or you know your name, you don't believe it. Is that it? I mean, it's it, it's all of them. I don't I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if you ask, yeah. Leonard, if she, it, all right, but you understand the problem is. You, in order to know something, you have to believe it. You can't know something that you disbelieve. Does that make any sense to you? That's my point in this. Other people may have a different point that they want to make, but that's my point. You cannot get rid of belief and say, because I have knowledge, I don't have beliefs. Because you got to have the belief to even have the knowledge to begin with. You can't yeah, I don't think that's true. Don't believe. I think you can know things that you don't believe in. I you think knowledge is something to be true that you don't believe it to be true. Oh God! I don't believe that. No, that's a Sorry. game. I understand where you're coming from and the types of examples that you could come up with for the point you're trying to make. All I'm saying is that the point you're trying to make is not. A valid reputation of what I'm saying to Jeremy. For example, you could know of the concept of unicorns and not believe that they exist. Is that one example of what you're talking about? I mean, yeah, you could use that. Right, and it's not applicable to this situation. That's not what I'm talking about. You cannot know something to be true, a.k.a. my name is Jeremy, and at the same time, not believe that your name is Jeremy. It's that simple. That's all I'm saying. Okay, but you, yeah. just threw in, you just threw in to to be true. I just Twit- threw you away. No, I'm just saying, when you were just talking to Twit, you threw in to be true after the fact. It's part of it. Slick. Yeah, but you didn't say that at first. You threw that in after. You no, know, Slick, I was getting again. Go back to the, the example. Why, why were you picking Robbie, that? Let, let, let Kerr respond to him. Sorry. I'm not responding to Slick on that. It's stupid. No worries. <laughs> well, it's interesting that, that, Kurt, um, that Slick just wanted to pick on that part of what Kerr said and not the other part, which, which just shows that you cannot have a, a name without... You can't have... Belief in your name. Okay, well, Brummy, let me ask you this. Brummy, let's take a tree, right? Because we talked about this before. Now, does that tree need to have a name to exist? That tree is not a sentient being. I didn't ask you that. I just asked you a question. Now, you're talking about obfuscation. Now, why are you obfuscating? Why are you obfuscating from the question? If me, an equivalent to what I'm talking about, do not use... But what I'm asking you, why are you obfuscating? An equivalent to a human being's name. This is what we need to do. Why are you obfuscating? An equivalent equivalent example. No, I'm at... Why are you obfuscating? Because Because your question is already an obfuscation. Okay, so no further questions. You're obfuscating with a question. Dishonest behavior. Exactly. Just, just more. Shame obfuscating. on you. On that. Want to I said no. You know, no further questions. You, you obfuscated. No further questions. Don't worry yeah, about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your question was an obfuscation. So Why? You because get... you call it a tree, and you call you Brummy. I'm. I'm not a tree. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You're it does matter. I'm a sentient being. A tree is you not a sentient being. It matters. In... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm a sentient being. That tree is not a sentient being. You can't can't compare me to a tree. You you can't talk. Go on, go on. You both exist in this reality. So sentient or not, it really doesn't matter in this instance, in this case, with this example. That's a tree and you're a Brummy. No. I am not a tree. I am not equivalent to a tree. A tree does not have a a conversation with a tree. You may be stupid. A tree cannot have a conversation. But do so, you both exist, Brummy? You both had that in common, right? Yeah, well, we're not, we're not, we're not equivalent though. The but you have somewhat... that in, co- but you have that in common that you, you both said, exist. Let me make a point. Yeah, use a human being as a point. Go on. We'll go from there. 
Okay, the point is that you both exist. The tree does not have to identify itself as a tree to exist, and you don't have to identify yourself as Brummy to exist. Brummy is just a Brummy, hold on. Brummy is only a name for identify identification so that people will know who they're talking about. I'm not That's a tree. It. It's I'm just that simple. A tree. I'm not equivalent to you a tree. Both, so. But you both exist. You are equivalent. You don't, even know, your mom, you don't even know if your mother is your own mother because you don't have beliefs. Do you understand that? You're absolutely I right. Know I, don't your know. Is your mother. I don't know. You're right. I don't know. <laughs> you don't believe your own mother. You don't believe. Dude, I, just, you I don't have beliefs. What I told you is that I don't know. <laughs> that that could be a lady. That, dude, relax. That could be a lady that found me on the doorstep and been telling me she's my mother ever since. I don't know that. That's true. That's very true. Well, you know what? I believe my mother's my mother, and I believe my name is my name. You have these problems, not me. That's how I don't I'm, have I'm, any problems. You do. I don't you know have, why you're. You why flaws. are you inflicting problems on me? They're not flaws. These that's are the my flaws life. Have, because they're I just have flaws these. to you. I, because I have beliefs, I don't have these problems. You do well, not. Well, that's have great. These. I don't that's have any have, problems. It's not, not a problem. Mother, like. That's okay. That's not a problem for you me. Don't believe your mother is your mother. I just told you that's not a problem for me. You believe. I don't have beliefs. My mother could, like I said, that lady could have picked me up off a doorstep and be, been telling me she's my mother ever since. I don't have a problem with that. Cool. Can I ask you a question, Snake? Yeah, I'm listening. Uh, the question uh, at the moment seems to have been as to whether we... In whether someone knows what they what their name is, so that's, so the topic is the top, yeah the topic is uh, whether one has knowledge of a name. Now you keep bringing up ex belief whether belief in a name, belief in a name, yeah, Lori. Yeah, yeah. You keep bringing up whether someone needs a name to have existence, but that's uh, as far as I can tell, that's not the topic. The topic is whether someone has a belief or has a name. For example, we we have I know that trees are are called trees in English. That's separate from whether trees need to need to be called that to exist. No one no one is confused about that. So I'm I'm not what what what, what I'm confused about is why do you keep bringing that up? Like it's it's unrelated to the topic. Because Brummy keeps bringing it up. Yeah, it was yeah. Brummy, Lori. I never brought the tree off. That was no, fucking... no, no. You brought the name thing up. Shh. Oh. Stop being crazy. No, no, but but the question that Brummy brings up is unrelated to what Slick, Slick is saying. So, so we keep talking about whether people know or believe that they have names, and then the question of whether names are needed to have existence for a certain thing, that's a topic all to itself. But that's for example, where we I were talking, Lori. That's where, where Slick was, and it got redirected to, you know, you have to know your name, or you have to believe you know your name. Of course that you was Brummy. Can you, Twit, can you explain to me how I'm wrong here? I'd love to hear it. Because Slick is not talking about your stupid name, Brummy. He's talking about the fact that you can exist, whether your name is Tater Todd or you don't have a name. I was never you still no, what's, exist. What's, what's, but what's what's your existence got to do with anything that made me on um, the belief of your name? How is that a related topic? His his whole point is that you can go through life and exist without forming judgments about the world around you and just accept it as it is. Hold on, there's a big intermediator intermediary okay. step here that's missing and that is what jeremy brought into the conversation remember when jeremy said that he was like agreeing with slick that you don't have to believe your name to know your name that's what jeremy said something along those lines yeah yeah that's how it got to where the point that Brummy was making and that i came in to make but Slick's whole idea about a tree not naming itself has nothing to do with what we ended up talking to Jeremy about. They're not in any way fucking connected whatsoever other than Jeremy. This whole 
is a goddamn straw man to begin with. Well, this is what, this is what I'm trying to say. Hannes is related to it, and Lewis and Fritz are trying to say that you can exist without having a name. Like, but that's not the question. The question is, how do you have a name for me? You've just made it too much. With that. You can go through life nameless. You don't even have to know what a fucking tree is. You don't even have to know that you're a human. You'll still exist. Big fucking deal. What's the relevance of this? Exactly. That's what I don't get. We're just running around spouting out random facts. Just no, no. The relevance. Recreation. The relevance is that somebody throughout time has decided what these things are and we have been programmed with these beliefs that that is a tree that that is brummy that that is curved water we these are all things that we we either we're programmed and we just accept or do we actually take time to learn do we take time to know you're not curved water you're curved water here it's just your name it's just the name we talk to you with that's not yeah. your real name I said, that's this just is the way not we communicate this is wow. not a revelation twit. Why are you treating this as though Slick is some kind of fucking genius? It's just that Brummy is the one that's making this big deal out of a name, Curb. It's not oh, I'm saying to you, you you're oh, saying to me you don't have beliefs. So I'm saying ask, I'm saying to you, how do you know your own name? How do you know your mother? Regardless whether oh, you're oh this Brummy, seriously, that argument are, with Slick is like four months old. I don't understand why you're still there. Too. It's even older than that. It's a couple years old, like yeah. a year and a half. Oh, listen, you have a belief whether you like it or not. Dude, that's your claim. You've said that a zillion times. It's not going yeah. to change anything. It said, let Kerr finish up whatever you see what he was saying. I did. I did. Thanks, but I, I did. I haven't heard a response, but I did. Yeah, so, so, Tweet, why do you act like it's a revelation? I, I don't think she is, and I don't think Slick is either. Why is it being mentioned in the fashion that it is? Is See, Brummy, the, the thing started with, like, I remember about a year and a half ago, because you started with this name, and you don't know who your mother is, and you kept going on and on. And what I'm trying to tell you is that, yes, you're right. This could be a lady that scooped me up from somewhere and called herself my mother. I don't know that. See, so when you're making jokes that you don't know who your mother is, and you're laughing and giggling, you just, come on, man. Because if your mother walked in the room and you turned around to her and you said something like, oh, mom, I don't know if you're my own mother, she slapped you across the face. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's stupid. Well, it's she stupid may know something that I don't. Yeah, but she may know something that oh, I don't. God, you're just, being, you're just being awkward for the sake of it, mate. The I'm not being like... awkward, dude. Listen, what I'm saying is this. My mother knows whether she birthed me or not, but I don't know if I came from her. How do you know if your children are your children? I don't. Oh, my God, man. <laughs> <laughs> you don't that's what I'm saying. Children. So you just—that's what you I'm trying to tell anything. you. Dude. I don't know anything. If I don't, uh, if I didn't do a DNA test or something like that, I don't know how the fuck. Well, I would you believe know. a DNA test? I could you believe a DNA? I test? I wouldn't have to believe a DNA <laughs> test. If, if, dude, if you slow down, if a DNA is a fact that proves uh, gen genetics then that would be a fact. If, if DNA is fallible, well, then that means that even if I got a DNA test, it still may not be my kid. <sighs> you just, That's the you, reality. See, That's you reality. Your children, do you not know if your children, like, believe your children are yours or not? Like, I don't have beliefs. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. <laughs> Dude, you can keep on giggling all you want. It's ridiculous. You have Dude, to leave. Let, okay, okay, Brummy, let me put it to you this way. What happens to the person that goes all through life believing that that was his kid? Then they get on Maury Povich and do the motherfucking test and found out that that's not his kid. Well, what about that? Well, the test is, uh, is quite conclusive evidence, yeah. I'd, I'd go with okay. the evidence. Right, but the thing is, you can go through all your uh, life yeah. believing, yeah. Trump, Brummy, you can go through all your life believing something is real and it isn't. Yeah, but you still have beliefs. I No, you have beliefs. Yeah, I, I know I, I do have beliefs, yeah. That's, you that's don't have cool. to believe it's your child to love that child. Right? I believe I would. I would. I don't love no one else's kids. <laughs> wow, so you need a DNA test before you, you could love your own child. Well, yeah, I mean, I would love my child before the, before the DNA test, but I think a DNA test would, uh, you know, would, 
you know, if new evidence presented itself that their child wasn't mine, then yeah, yeah but you're w- you're you're saying that he needs to know that those are his children before he can love them. That's not what I'm saying. You're misinterpreting what I'm saying. What you to, said. No, it's not what I said. I said to him, he doesn't even know if his own kids are his. He doesn't know if his own mother is. Doesn't know his own it name. Does it matter? Does of course it matter? It matters. Yeah, it matters. No, massively. How, why does any of this matter? It, why? Why does anything matter? Like, why what can't your mother he just and mother? exist and love and and do the things that he does? Why does it have to have a label? He has beliefs because he's he to, to believe he doesn't have beliefs is a contradiction. He yeah. obviously has beliefs, so that's why it matters because he's basically sitting there saying to everyone, "I don't have beliefs," when in fact he does. And I'm proving Brummy, he has, me, has beliefs. Brummy, so let, say, hold on a second, Brummy. Let me put it to you this way, Brummy. Notice that I'm not telling you what you have to have and you don't have to have, but you're telling me what I have to have. Do you notice this happening in our conversation? Because you come in the room and told. I didn't ask you that. Not. I just asked you a question. I'm do you notice this? How I want to answer. I'm gonna answer a question. I want to answer. Oh. You have come into this room and told everybody you do not have beliefs. Therefore, I am presenting to you evidence that you do actually have I heard that now answer my question now I want you to answer my question do you notice how I'm not telling you what you have to have and not have to have but you're telling me what I have to have do you notice that there's a reason for that what I just explained I didn't ask you that I asked you did you notice that but there's a reason for that isn't that I didn't ask you whether it was a reason for it I'm just asking you did you notice that yes because of what you said thank you because of what you said so if you didn't come in here talking shit, I wouldn't be there fucking exposing your bullshit, would I? You answered my question. I never, I'm not Thank the one who came in here. I, say, I know, oh, but I, I heard. You. You Listen, are. Dude, you don't have so, to keep so, on talking. You, you gave me stone. my answer. You cast the first stone, so now I'm there telling you that, no, actually, in fact, mate, you do actually have beliefs. So dude, come in here tell him when you I go. I told you, you I got my don't answer. Now, unless you want to just talk room. to the rest of the room, don't I can go on deaf for a while so that you can address the rest of the room. But I got my answer. Thank you. Don't come in and throw the first stone, okay? Don't come in here and throw stones. Dude, I heard you the first four times you said that. Good, good. That's the major difference here. You came in first with this bullshit. No one else has come, no one else has come in this room and said something that they can't back up, but you, you're the only person who's come in this room and said something that's unjustifiable. That's a contradiction from the very fucking moment you open your mouth. So to, your say you do not have, to say you do not have beliefs is a belief in itself, so it's a contradiction. It's like saying... In your mind. It's a contradiction. It cannot exist. The only way it can exist is if, in fact, I don't have beliefs. It can exist in that instance, couldn't it? You can, how can you, to, to, to I know, say but like, in that I is, but I in that, but, but hold on, Jer, I'm asking you a question. In that instance, if I don't have beliefs for a fact, it could exist in that instance, couldn't it? No, because it's a contradiction. So what you're saying is that if it's, hold on, hold on, let, let me get clarity. I just need to get clarity. Are you saying that if it's a fact that I don't have beliefs, then I must have to believe that you do not have beliefs. I didn't ask you that. Not my question. I'm asking you, if it is a fact that I don't have beliefs, are you telling me that I still must have them? Yes or no? If it's a fact that you do not have beliefs. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> not, well, I, I don't quite understand the question. Explain the question how is, let me ask you it again. If it is a fact that I don't have beliefs, do I still have to have beliefs? How is it a fact I'm asking you to explain? I didn't ask that? you that. Do well, I, I, I said... don't understand the question, so I need okay, you to well, elaborate then... on the question. Okay, let me try another way. If Please I elaborate. don't, If it is a fact that I don't have beliefs, now do you, are you following me so far? How is it a fact? I'm asking you, I said, if it's a fact that I yeah, don't have how, beliefs. How, how does that, how is that a fact? Okay, Please dude, I'll tell you what. How, how the I'm, fact is... Dude, I'm trying to ask, see if you're following me so far. If it's a fact. If something is a fact. How is you not having beliefs a fact? Dude, I'm just... No, I'll tell you what, never mind. It's not important. Don't worry about it. Oh, it's cool. That's brilliant. That's great. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's not important. Great. That's great. Easy win. So how do you verify a fact, Slick? By not having beliefs and just going with reality. <laughs> How's that verifying anything? I'm telling you that over and over.
check all the stamp signal. No, he, 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 just saying facts and not not justifying or explaining how it's a fact does not determine. It's just that you keep it, asking me the same question. I answer it the same way over and over again, but you keep asking the same thing. I'm not. I'm asking you to explain how it's a fact. I'm talking about power. How do you, how do you determine that you you do not have, have for, you do not have beliefs for a fact? How do you determine that? I told you, the way that I understand reality and the way that I can connect to it is by not having beliefs. If I had beliefs, I couldn't connect to reality because I would be putting beliefs in the way by making up shit that and holding on to it into my, in my imagination. And that would mean that everything he just said is meaningless. So, uh, should we go to school, Slick, or no? Or Dude, you can school? do whatever works for you. School is very useful for learning language so that you can communicate with people. It's useful for learning uh, things like math so that you can build things and understand, like your car. You might want to learn how to fix a car so that you can repair it, maybe get a job repairing cars. So school is very useful for these things. If it were a fact that he didn't have beliefs, he couldn't even know that fact. Okay, if, if that helps you, sure. That's what I'm saying, it's a it, contradiction. It's just a okay. pure contradiction. Like I said, if that's a belief to you, sure, roll with it. Well, facts are... are, are Dude, I said beliefs. roll with I, it. Don't talk over me, Slick. I'm finishing Damn. my statement, right? When I, if I want to say what I want to say, I want to say it. To, to, uh, facts are beliefs, you know what I mean? Like, so it's just you're going down the same tunnel and saying, I'm, no, roll I'm with going it. down so this tunnel, but it. I'm not going down this tunnel. So you're fucking Dude, going down the tunnel? Like, I said, roll with it. The fuck? <laughs> I just told you to roll with it, and you're still talking. A one way tunnel, and you're going, I'm walking down this tunnel, but I'm not walking down this tunnel. Dude, <laughs> roll with it, hyena. If that works for you, roll with it. This is fucking hilarious, man. I can't get enough of it. I know it's hilarious. Everything is hilarious to you. And the fact that hyena is pronounced hyena. Where so I'm from like, in the hood, that's how it's pronounced. Hyena. So, Slick, when I get to the school, how do I know the teacher is telling me facts or is just beliefs? Why are you asking me about your schooling? No, I'm asking... Is the teacher Why? Why teacher are you asking me? Aren't you able to think? Wait a minute. Aren't you able to think for yourself about how you're going to accept school? I, am, I'm asking I told for your you what my... Uh, didn't I tell you what my opinion is? About teachers. Let, about teachers. No, the, forget the teachers. Go with the teaching. If you need to understand how to... Co Dude, I mean, now you seem to be stuck. Now, if you're going to learn understanding and you need to speak to people and have communication, then you're going to have to learn the language that you're familiar with or that they're using. If you're going to learn how to measure, how to build something, then you're going to have to learn math and you're going to have to learn some trades. That's huh. what school is for. No, you don't have to ask me about how do you go to school and what do you take as fact. Why, not on, just read a, why would I go to school? Why not just read a book then? I trust then do that. Do that. You don't do whatever works for you. If you don't have to go to school and you can learn how to fix a car by just picking up a book and reading it yourself, then don't go to school. Do it that way. Save yourself some time. But how do I know the book is fact? And how do I know the teacher is saying is correct? When it comes, you're talking about like when it comes to English and math, how do you know it's correct? Well, you can do it like this. If the teacher teaches you that one object plus another object is two objects and they have the picture where they have one object plus another object and you see two of the objects, well, then fact check it. Take one object, put it next to another object and see if the picture matches what the teacher is telling you. How about if I don't know how to do that? Well, then use a dumb motherfucker. Well, I never learned it, so how well, can I, know. I verify you, That means you's a dumb motherfucker and somebody gonna have to take care of your ass because you's dumb as fuck. Excuse my language if this offends anybody, but yeah, you's a dumb motherfucker if you can't do that. So that means you're either autistic or something or you're in a wheelchair and all you can do is sit there and drool or some shit like that. If that's the case, then hopefully there's somebody who can take care of your ass. Yeah, because yeah, I don't believe in books. I don't believe in teachers. I don't believe in anything. 
Okay. So well, I guess then, I'm hopeless. I can't learn anything. Dude, it's not about that. See, you think that beliefs means everything, and without them, you can't do anything. That's your mind. You understand? See, that's how your mind works because you've been programmed that without beliefs, you can't function. You didn't come up with that yourself. Somebody taught you that, and you just simply believe it. No, nobody taught me this. They didn't? They didn't teach you that not you had to I'm, have beliefs? Not what I'm claiming right now. No, no one taught so me nobody, that. So nobody taught you that you had to have beliefs? Definitely no one really teaches that. So you came up with that by yourself? So tell me, what grade school do they teach? Uh, dude, I'm beliefs? just asking. I so know, what but grade dude, do you they teach us? What grade? You seem, you seem to be under that understanding, so either two things happen. Either they taught you that, or you came up with it yourself. Now, which one of them was it? Did you come up with it yourself? You have to come up with some stuff by myself. I didn't ask you that. I'm talking about the beliefs. I'm not talking about some stuff. Did you come up with the belief thing yourself, or was that taught to you about beliefs? I would say I came up with it myself. You did it on your own? Yeah. Okay, so now you decided for yourself that everybody must have beliefs. You did this. It's apparent. What? Did you do this or not? I ain't say anything about a parent. Did you do this or not? Yeah, I'm saying it's apparent that everyone has beliefs. I didn't see what I mean. Now you talk, you blame me for obfuscation. I asked you a straight question. You can't give me a straight answer. It is a straight answer. So I'm asking you, did you are you the one that decided that everyone has beliefs? I did, don't tell me anything about a parent. Yeah, I'm saying. Did you yeah. do it or so you it's, did do this? So this yet. is a everyone has beliefs. Okay. So this is in your mind. See, so that's in your imagination. You came up with it, right? Yeah. Okay, so I don't live in your imagination, do I? But here's the question. How do you... I didn't ask you that. I said, I don't live in your imagination, do I? But this isn't about me. This was about... It is about... That's what... Just stay with the question. I'm not in your... I'm not going to let you change the subject. How do you know okay, a well then don't... or a teacher is saying facts from fiction? Now we're talking about cheat teachers and facts when we're talking about how you decided that everyone had beliefs. Now you're no, back to the No, this was the, the original teachers. question. You changed the topic. This you was the changed original the topic. topic. No, this was the original topic and you switched it. I'm not letting you do that. Uh, okay, good. Hold me I to the fire. Let me. I want to see you hold me to the fire. Go ahead. So how, are, how do you know books and teachers are telling you the truth or not? You don't. So I thought you were saying they were important to gain knowledge, though. I didn't say anything. I said school is useful if you want to understand language and how to communicate, or if you want to learn a trade, how to build something like that. Yeah, I but, said um, schools are useful. Now, that's what I said. What are you talking about? How do you know school telling the truth or not? I don't. I don't know anything. You don't. You don't know. How so is how do you gain knowledge? What do you mean, how are you going to have not do? What are you talking about? If I don't trust the schools or books, how am I going to obtain knowledge? What is there to trust? You mean to tell me that if somebody teach you that this red thing uh, with a stem on it is called an apple, what is there to trust? Uh, how do I know he's telling me the truth or not? What do you mean? What, what, what truth is there? They're calling the thing an apple. Yeah, but how do I know he's telling me the thing that's a fact? How would I know? I'll tell you what. Then try calling it a cow and see how far you get with it. Then you'll know. A What's cow a cow? Call itself a cow. Yeah, try taking that red thing with a stem on it and calling it a cow and then see how far it gets you. An apple doesn't call itself an apple. I see this is just going to circle. Oh, what? Are you following us or are you? You, I wanted think to get, you wanted to get it back on track, so we back on track. So, if I can't trust a book, I can't trust the people, how do I obtain knowledge? By understanding reality. But how would I understand reality? By not having beliefs in the way of reality. That's how you do it. It's very simple. How does that work? Just by not having, if you don't have beliefs, now reality can reach you. So if you don't have bel beliefs, is the only thing that can keep you from reality. How do you know that for sure? How's that fact? 
because I don't have beliefs. And once you don't have beliefs, now you have that understanding. See, if it you didn't have beliefs, hold on. Much- if you, Hold on. If you didn't have beliefs, you would understand what I'm telling you, and you wouldn't even have to ask me. I think you're so far gone. So like, that's hey, fine. I have a question, Pyro. Um, why yeah. did you equate? Why did you add trust into the equation? Um, because do, are you equating trust with beliefs? Yes. Interesting. So if you don't if you don't believe in books or teachers, how are you going to believe in the knowledge? I don't because know I... when Flicks ever said he didn't believe in books or knowledge or teachers. Like I don't. I don't remember hearing him say that. He said he doesn't have beliefs. Right. That. Well, how does that equal he doesn't, you know, acknowledge that there's teachers and books? No, but how are you going to trust a teacher if you don't believe in the teacher? Now, why, you know why, the... what is trust? Now, you're saying trust is the same thing as belief? Kind of. You have to believe in the person to trust them. I I don't think so. I think that I, I'm listening to, I don't necessarily trust you, but I'm going to listen to you. And if you have some knowledge to give me, I will listen. And your, your knowledge, your facts may very well be completely true. It doesn't mean that I have to trust you. I, it just means that you're just stating some facts that are un, undisputable. My signal go out again. How is he trust would leave into believing something into that? Check. Is this signal working? Yes. I don't think it's working. Yeah, I just had to bounce out and bounce back. It's hard to tell because sometimes the room just goes silent. And I don't know if the signal dropped or. Yeah, Discord has a habit of doing that. Gets a note. I was saying the pyro, man. It's yeah, it's not about trusting the person. The, the information is either valid or it is. But how do you verify the information is valid? That's what I'm trying to get. I, and I just told you it's very simple. Like when the teacher tells you that one of object plus another object equals two objects and they have the illustration there, well you can simply verify that. Take an object, set it next to another object, and see if it does the same thing it does in the diagram. So are you telling me I need to believe the teacher? Is that what you're telling me? No, what I'm saying is that you can fact check the teacher. Very simple. Like if a teacher, here, like this, in other words, if a teacher tells you that the red thing with a stem on it is an apple and everybody addresses it as an apple, well, you can fact check the teacher. Go take that that same apple and walk up to people and say, what is this? And if they say apple, you have just fact checked the teacher. But I would have to believe the other person, too. How would you have to believe the other person when the teacher told you one thing that everybody that you show this to will say it's an apple, and if you walk up to everybody and they tell you it's an apple, didn't you just fact check the teacher? Well, you have to believe the other person is correct, too. No, you're fact checking. But what if he said it was a cow? I mean, you're sounding like a flat earther right now, to be honest. He sounds worse than Brummie. Yeah. <laughs> We're just trying you're... to find out what humans call apples. Like, once you go see enough people calling apples, books, an apple, everyone knows it's an apple. And uh... Not in Japan. Uh, see, what happens get, is this. This room gets hung up on the smallest little simple thing. You know what happens? This is what happens. Sometimes somebody wants you to be wrong so bad that they'll reach deep and deep and deep. They'll reach far enough that they don't even uh, go with themselves. They'll go against themselves just to be against you. That's how deep no, it is. Like, you just don't know how to think critically right now. Don't tell me what I don't know. You just worry about what you know. I'll take care of me. 
So Sadly, how? What I'm saying. The only people who can understand this conversation understand English first. See, I would take this to when the teachers tell you about the core, of the, the the molten iron core. You know that that's when I'd I'd start to be like, okay, you know. So two two teachers tell me two different things. Who should I believe? Dude, if you have beliefs, you got to do what works best for you. I don't have those, so I can't advise you in that area. Do you ever test anything, Slick? Test things like what? Like, give like, me an example. So someone, give, someone makes a statement. Well, I'll give then... you an example. Oh, yeah. I'll give you an example. Like, I'll test a two-by-fours length. If I'm going in the store to buy a four and I need a certain length and I tell the man to cut it, well, I'll check his cut to make sure that I got the length that I'm looking for. So, yes, I do test and check things. Right. So he says, this is exactly the length you need. And you say... All right. No, no. What I do but is this. If I say I'm going to test it to make sure no. that you're right. Dude, it's simple. But, no, what happens right. is, let's say I go in the store. I say, listen, I need this 10 inches and uh, 10 feet, 6 inches long. He makes the cut. What I do is test and verify if it is indeed 10, 6 by taking like the tape you, measure and checking it. So my answer to your question is, yes, I check things. It's so like you, you got to believe. It's so like you got to believe your tape measure is right. Like this could go on just forever. Well, no, I, I don't have not really because the tape <laughs> no, not no, really because the tape agree. hold on this is why I don't the tape measure is what it is. I don't have to believe the tape measure. The tape measure just is. Yeah, the tape measure know, just... could be broken a little bit, but it's not going to be off by more than a few millimeters. In, in other words, if if I measure something with my tape measure and I take it, that tape measure is not going to change metamorphosize into something else before I use it to check something else. And that's, I, I don't have to believe that. No, I know you're just Ball busting. Right. So it's... You, then you have to believe that the men in black which tape measure while you didn't see when you were in the car. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. no, no, I think... Jeremy. No, no, no. Don't go there. But no, so, so what I'm saying is like someone makes a statement that you can check, you know, and you don't have to believe them, but you don't rule out what they're saying. You then check it. I know I'm being a bit vague, but you check the thing and then you're like, well, I agree now because you experience the fact. Well, no, no, I verify. All I've done is verify. Right. Mm. All right. In that case, I think the belief would be that you believe that the tape measure is accurate. No, I use the oh tape measure gosh. when I measure. That's what I mean. <laughs> to it, this is what I go through. This is what I, they reach, they try to reach so far deep to make me wrong that they make themselves sound absolutely ridiculous. Just to make me wrong. This is how far they are willing to go. All right, so let's say, let's say we got two tape measures and one of them is incorrect. How would you know which tape measure is correct and which one isn't? Well, you compare them to each other and see if they match. That's what it is. Oh my God. I don't think that was. Wrong. What did you just have a breakthrough? No, I said you had two tape measures and one of them's incorrect. So how would you verify it? And you just said take the other one and oh, fucking. That, well, you think you got idea. a gotcha because of the way you worded your little wording, and you think you got a gotcha. If that's what it takes, if that's what you are willing to go through to get a gotcha, dude, have at it. I don't. I don't know if he got a gotcha, but your method wouldn't wouldn't work because all you could see if you compare them is that there is a different difference, but you couldn't tell necessarily which one is right. Right, but all I'm going to do is use the one that I'm going to use in both cases. See, if I'm going to use the one that I need to make my measurement at home, and I'm going to take that same one when I go get the piece of wood cut to match it. I don't need to switch tape measures. Exactly. You could actually take your tape measure in your pocket, and then yeah. Jeremy's switch switch right. possibilities is ruled out. <laughs> that wasn't then... Jeremy. That was Pyro. No, no, that no. Was, no was Jeremy Pyro. made the <laughs> Men in Black stealing your tape measure and switching it when oh. you're in the shop. Yeah. Oh no! Somebody took me through that before when we were talking about like where I parked my car last. Somebody actually told me because I said I know where I parked my car. Somebody told me that somebody could have came in the night and drugged me. Uh, some shit like that, and made me forget all about where I parked my car. And now my memory of where I parked my car doesn't hold. This is what I have to go through in conversation. Fair. Let's take it. Let's take it back to how you, the the two tape measure thing. You you know you would need a third tape measure. That's that's where my straight lines come in. 
with uh, the water and the fuck, water. Oh, for fuck's sake, Jeremy. You don't, you, you don't just have two. You know, I'm like... going back into this kiss. Right, it's fine. never going to happen. Yeah, I have to. Bye. I've got it coming to say, Jeremy, about that line thing. Uh, it's a great idea, mate. Let me know when you've done it. Yeah. Yeah, I second that. But it's like going back to your belief, your non-belief system. I, I'm trying to work out if that's the way you live your life. Yes, I live my life that way. Then, I guess you just do things differently, right? Yes, so I made... understand. It's just a matter of understanding things differently. That's all. Right. And you're a you're a it'll be what it will be type of person. It's like this. All I can do is live in the now. I can only function in the now. Now, I may do something in the now that may affect this um, hypothetical later. But that hypothetical later doesn't mean anything to me because it doesn't exist. The only thing that exists is now. I can't function outside of that. Right. Where do you think now came from? Well, now came from, uh, like I said, I don't want to open that can of worms because that's just going to call people to go through this whole thing, and I don't want to get into that. Now, let me just put it to you this way. Now is, right? It, that we can't agree with. Where it came from is really not important. What is important is that it is here. And why does it keep changing? What do you mean, keep changing? Now isn't oh. changing. Things are changing. Yeah, why, why do things keep changing? Well, what's wrong? Do you want things to not change at all and just be static and know nothing? Not about what I want. It's about noticing that things change. Yes, things change. So if it's There's... always now and things change, they move, they change yes. their state, their position, yes. their condition, all kinds yes. of things change. There's something yes. different about now. From one now to another, as if there's like a just a seemingly infinite succession of nows. Right. It's got and, to and do with belief. Nows that we have memories of, and nows that we have, well, expectations and sometimes. Right. 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 Now, remember, remember, remember when I told you about a fake reality being overlaid a real reality? Now, here's a perfect example of it. You know the time that you go by, like with the clocks and everything? Now, take that reality, which isn't really real, and then you overlay that on the real reality, which is now. See, it's always now. Now never changes. It's always been now. It will always be now. But when you take a clock, see what I'm saying, and then go to that reality, well, now every second is changed. Every second is a new second. Every minute is a new minute. You know what I mean? That doesn't make a bit of sense. Okay, well, that's fine. Dude, I hear you. It makes sense to me. It makes sense to me because I understand it. I think it might be that that we tend to want to think that 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 humanity provides. And you're cutting out a bit to it. Maybe start again. Twitter, if you're speaking, you're not coming through. I can go with the always now thing, but I equate it to the present. Like it's, okay. it's always the present. I'm sorry. Is it any better? Yes, yeah, yeah. You're better. Okay. I was just saying, I think that we tend to want to uh, attribute to you that because you say you don't have any beliefs, that that means you're giving up all of the tools that, that humanity has provided and all of the, the uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, right. You know, the, the things that have been provided already right. by somebody else like i don't think that i don't think that that's what you're saying when you say you don't no. have any beliefs that you Leg. because you don't have any beliefs you won't um use a computer or you won't use a, you know uh, whatever because i i think that that's what i'm hearing though like they want they want to say that you're giving up everything else for right. when you give up your beliefs Right. And that's what I keep trying to explain. I'm trying to explain to them that that's not the case because I can use everything that's around me. What they're mistaken for what comes from humanity doesn't really come from humanity. It comes from reality. And humanity is just in use of that reality. Right. I get it. 
It's just, an it's just like a, it's just like electricity. See, electricity is, and man makes use of it. So man makes use of it, and you know, yada yada yada, they're able to make things. Just like oil, oil is there. So because of oil is there, they can make things. Frequency, because of the way frequencies work, they can make things like radios and, you know, communications. That's just all in nature. That's a reality that has nothing to do with belief, you know. I think I, the only uh, uh, difficulty I have in understanding your, your, the totality of your um, explanations, like, and sorry if you've had to repeat yourself, but things like the planning for the future that you forecast, but you don't know whether they're going right. to work out. Now, when you get to that point, it'll be what it will be. But maybe, the, the, maybe, right? right? But the time right. between that, there's in your mind, yeah. there's 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 an idea of certain options that might right. be. Like let me like let me give you an example. I can plan. Um, say like I'm going to plan a trip to Hawaii in two weeks. Right now, let's just use that as an example. Now, there is no such thing as that particular point. Now, is there? In other words, it doesn't exist except for a, an imagination in the mind because it's not here. Right? Did I lose? Okay. okay. No, I get you. So, right now, when I'm making that plan for that vacation, when am I doing it? See, I'm doing that now. I'm sitting in a travel agent. I mean, in the office with the lady. I'm doing this now. See, I have no idea that I might die a second later. All I can do is function in the now. Now, if it just so happens that two weeks comes along, because if it does, it's still going to be now, then I can proceed with that taking of the vacation. But I have no idea of knowing anything. I don't know one second from now what will happen. Now, when people have beliefs, now they believe that they're going to do this. They believe that they're going to do that. I have no such belief expectations whatsoever. The only thing I could do is do something now. That's the yeah. only reality that there is. The belief in tomorrow may not come even for everyone. Right. It can end for everyone. I hear you. The, yeah. the heliocentric universe can put on itself and there's nothing. Right. It's, it's just like, you know, you know, like when, um, like, say when. Uh, somebody, did my signal go out? No, we hear. Am I still? Yeah. Now, say like somebody uh, gets in a car accident and dies. Now, they didn't plan that. They didn't believe that that was going to happen. They believed they was on, on their way to their mother's house for dinner. See what I'm saying? And that belief did not get them there. That's the point that I'm trying to make. You just don't know. So believing something is not going to help you in no way, shape, or form. <laughs> I've got some examples where belief helps me, but I I understand what you mean. Why did you buy a phone then? It's still irrelevant. Why did I buy a phone? Yeah. Why, why did you buy a phone? To use? See? It's a belief. See? Well, no, I, I bought a phone because I can't yell loud enough for some bitch to hear me a thousand miles away. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> that was great. I meant to see. I'm glad. Uh, we're, we're having a we have a nice calm conversation. There's no need to to make pe making people aware easier, right? Slick, so you don't have to shout from the mountain. You can just talk talk through the phone. Oh, yeah, you probably could be heard though from the mountain. I'm not gonna I, rule it out. I think the biggest <laughs> thing that I've heard that I don't under quite understand or is a little shocking was that, and I maybe I'm the odd man out here, but I don't equate belief and trust as the same thing. No. And High Pyro did. High Pyro I think Slick, did. I think Slick does in a lot of the way he explains it. That's why people get confused, I think. Well, remember earlier when I was saying the word belief, think, uh, all those words are all interchangeable. I would say you could put trust in there. Do I trust my name is Jeremy? Do I think my name is Jeremy? Yeah. Do I believe? Is it a fact? Mm, They're interchangeable the to a point, but they mean different things. Like all trust is a belief, right? If you trust something, you believe it's true. But all belief isn't trust necessarily. Sometimes so that's, you... that's that's right. The future can't be believed. I mean, the future can't be trusted because it hasn't happened yet. So to trust it would be something you'd already know. You know right. what I mean? Like 
so I, that's where I kind of lean they, towards they, a plan of the future is a belief that it will eventuate or not. They are going to change all pretty much. No, the Even thing when is... We, when we're talking, we do it. No, Sheeple, the thing about the future is this. You don't know whether it's going to be there or not. Like two weeks from now, you have no idea whether two weeks is going to be here or not. So then when you do something, you're doing it just in case it is. It may be. Well, we you have, don't know. We do have an idea because time's last. You don't have, you know I mean? No, you don't I've have an idea. 30, no, I don't know certain, but I've survived 38 years. I'm pretty sure. The world's still going to be here in two weeks, you know what I mean? No, you don't know, yeah, but you don't know if you're going to live two seconds from now. You don't. I don't know, know but I'm still pretty sure. I'm confident. That won't help you. That won't help you it because does. you could die. All the confidence in the world can't keep you from dying two seconds from now. It keeps you That's strong in the mind, mind, being confident. You're right. You're right, Don. Well, you're right. It's, 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 that's exactly that. But some of that he said earlier was uh, it doesn't matter how it got there. It's, it, it just exists. And it's a bit like gravity, right? Gravity just exists, doesn't matter how it got there. But I do agree with what um what Dawn's saying. You you are basically believing that, you know, in a couple of weeks you'll be yeah. you'll have the finances, you'll have the luggage packed, and you'll be on your way on holiday. Yeah, you know, you think you were smooth with that move, that gravity is just there, but I'm I you know, that didn't work. That was pretty good, Slick. That's a good yeah, point. Just, yeah, you see how smooth you see how he's smooth he tried to put that in yeah. there and didn't think it's it would get noticed. It's a good point. I told you, man, I'm I've been around a block. It's your own logic against you, but I do agree with the, there's always now, and that clocks do take, like, uh, uh, they're a measurement of, of like, from, from like, a, like a, a gauge, it's, you know what I mean? It's but like a name. I, I agree with you on all the now, now is now. I'm not just looking at disagree with everything you say. That, that is something that I can, t- can agree with you strongly on, but to, 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 See, to time. say, <coughs> hold on, to say you have no beliefs is just, sure, for I, me, I, I, but, obviously but, a contradiction. But time is the same thing. Time, just like a name, is a use of communication. If you and I are supposed to meet somewhere at some future planned date that may or may not ever happen, well, without a clock, we would never be able to pull that off. So these things are tools of communication. That's it. Yep. Yeah. You have trust. Kind of, yeah. It's a language, like language. Yeah. Right. That's all, right. It's just a language. Well, well I'm gonna try and live in the now. More. Yeah, that's all you really have. Rather you than really use the that. clock, I'm going to see if I can just kind of go through my day. You know, okay, care about what time that, it is. That, that is see, see the, the clock is only the clock is only required if you have to do something that somebody else is concerned with. That's mm-hmm. with, if you're by yourself. Like let's say you're on the Earth all by yourself, and there's nobody else on it but you. What would you need a clock for? Yeah, true. Right. That's exactly. No wonder it was going to be nighttime. But uh, yeah, you're right though. You just got you got to know. That's what time's good for is to know. Uh, in reference to to the in reference to now, you know when this event's going to take place or how long ago it took place. Uh, but one 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 way that you can um, that's what meditation does. Like when you're meditating, you focus on your breath because it's supposed to uh, in, it's supposed to assist you in forgetting about like, to let go of like what you're thinking about the future, thinking about the past. And you're supposed to just focus on the, that very moment. Oh, no. it's a good well, you way. did say slick. You did say slick. It doesn't matter how it got there. It just is there. And that's well, the same well, argument with gravity. It doesn't matter how it got there. It doesn't matter what causes it. The fact is, it's there. And that's well, that's it. if it's there. That's if it is there. No, it, no, that's it, the key. It's actually there. It doesn't matter how well, it got there. Well, that's what you say. But you say so it's you, there. You try to tell me. I know, but hold on. Hold on. We can, just, we, can start, we can have this conversation. See, it's easy for you to say that gravity is there and just make that statement. But is it there? See, well, when I that's, say... That's what I said to you about your beliefs, but you don't, you don't justify them. So that, is that that's equivalent? How do, you know, this... how do you know they're facts? Oh, they're just our facts. Well, we, we know gravity is just there. That's it. That's equivalent. That's your own logic. That's not no, my argument. Not, that's your, no, that's that not, your that's, own. That's your own that's reason. That's not my logic. No, it's not. It's I'm not your making logic. logic. I keep telling you that's not my logic. Making shit up and saying it's there is not my logic. <laughs> you, you said a list, slick, of a few things that you think are there, and Brummy's adding yeah, t- gravity is one thing he thinks is there, right? Yeah, but I didn't say anything no. about what I he think said. is there. I'm talking about things you, that are there. I'm well, talking about things that yeah. do Brummy exist. Is too. Brummy is too. Exactly. Gravity is there. It doesn't matter how it got oh. there. It's there. Okay. It's you just disagree if it's there or not. 
Okay. But if it's there, it's there. I agree with you, Slick. Okay, so if that's the case, Brummy, why don't you just say that pink elephants are there too? You could say that. Uh, well, you know, that's not that's just your logic, not mine. I don't. I don't. But I'm just saying. So, so based on your logic, you're arguing with yourself. I know, but what I'm no, Brummy. The only thing I'm saying is based on your logic, pink elephants are there. Not my uh, logic. It's your croc- logic. Crocodiles with forty-five heads are there. You got that's giraffes. True. You got not giraffes with two work. and three. There's giraffes with four assholes. No, you're making that up. That's what he did when he made up gravity. No, no, they are not even remotely similar. Well, I would like to hear you explain how. What observations have led you to proclaim that there are crocodiles with 45 or pink elephants or unicorn, whatever? and and, and, in that, and in that and in that same vein, what observations have you made to think that there's gravity? Um, acceleration oh, of mass. Okay, that's ex- the Earth. Earth. Well, that's acceleration. Sideways, orbits of planets, orbits of moons around planets, comets, asteroids, meteorites. How far do you want to go? Well, but why are you calling those things gravity? Because of what. We say gravity is and right. See, so you no just point. the point is this: I'm not arguing you... with you about gravity. I'm arguing oh. with, with you about why we say gravity and the difference between that and just making up forty-five, you know, toed alligators or whatever the yeah. fuck you said. There's a huge fucking difference. No, there is pretend and to pretend that that difference is not there is fucking morally bankrupt. No, there is no difference, and I can explain why. Because just because you see something fall and you measure its rate, well, you don't get to just decide that that was pulled down. See, that's where you come uh, in. Was, making sure. up, Hold on, let me finish, dude. Up. Dude, Brummy, just be patient. So my point is, if you just come in and say because you make an observation and you make up a reason of why, well, I could do that too when it comes to the 45 told alligator. You have no observations whatsoever to back up the 45 toed alligators. Now, you do not accept, nor do you understand the reasons why we say gravity. You are act- actually, and this is not meant to be like a pejorative. You're not capable of this fucking conversation. Slow. Okay, well, I can show you where I am capable because all you've done is Do this. It. You, you've made an observation and then you decided what caused that observation. Now, am I correct you've already or not? Lost. You've already okay, lost. Okay, well, show me how I've lost. We, we made observation one. Okay, you don't have that for the forty-five toed alligator. No, I'm talking about no, I'm talking about in your example. You've made the observation, yeah. and, you just, and then you decided what the cause was. Didn't you make up the cause? No, we didn't make up a cause. Well, then where did you get gravity from? Because we're describing the phenomena that we're seeing. You asked me. We're not. Oh, no, no you're all comparing a cause with a phenomenon. Like that. Right. 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 Oh, no. It just is. It doesn't matter what, it, what causes it. Bro. You're mixing up cause and effect. You see the you effect. You're mixing up cause and effect. 45 elephants. You're conflating no, what I'm saying. Effect. Effect. Yeah. What oh, I'm no. saying. No, this is what I'm in saying. Your oh, no. elephants in your alligators. Let's just calm down. This is what I'm saying. You make an observation, so you see an effect. The part that I'm talking about that you make up is the cause. See, gravity is supposed to be the cause, and you made that up. No, it's both. It's both slick. Gravity is the cause and the effect at this, this minute. No, that, no, yes. you can't. The cause and effect can't do the same thing. Language, it's both. Yeah. No, it's just, okay. it, it just Listen. is. The whether effect you, and the cause in cannot it. be the same thing, dude. Whether you're in reality with it or not. It okay, then is. let me put it to you this way. I have never heard in anywhere else in reality where the cause and the effect is the exact same thing. Well, Gravity seems haven't... to be the whole on. You haven't Gravity it, seems no. to be the only place where the cause and the effect are the exact same. Yeah. That's why some people say the cause is space-time. You don't, you don't find that a little odd? Some Magnet. people say the cause is mass and space-time, but it Magnet might not be. Would be magnetism. Yeah. Yeah, we just we're getting away, away, we're getting we away from the gravity. Fact. Let's go back to the start, right? The bottom line is, he says, it just is a fact, yeah? And that's it. So he's, he's the one who's pulling shit out of his ass. No, I'm no, saying what I am, 
when no, I'm, I'm not doing that, talking, Brummy. I'm not I know, I'm but gonna... you know I'm yeah, not doing not... that. So bad. when I interject to you, right, you don't, you, you get all upset. I know, so but go ahead. Go ahead and misrepresent. Go ahead and misrepresent. It just is. It just is. You says it just is. It doesn't matter where it came from. So I said, well, we can use the same logic. Your logic. We can use the same logic with gravity. Now you're saying we're insinuating that gravity is the reason, but gravity is is our. Uh, definition of, of the phenomenon we're seeing. doesn't matter. You can call it fucking... You can call it armpits if you want. I don't give a shit. But at the same time, when we say gravity, we're all agreeing that objects falling towards the ground at, at, at term of at okay. term of velocity and, and acceleration right. towards the ground. That's what, we're de- that's what we're describing. It just is something that we that it exists. doesn't matter okay, how it's... I heard... Dude, you don't have to keep saying it over and over. I heard... Take it in. Take the, it in. The only... Now, where you misrepresented me is that I'm not just saying shit is because I said so. I said what is, like now, like a tree being a tree. These things just are. Now, when you talk about gravity, you're talking about something that you made up as a cause for an effect. It's not Uh, made up. It's not made up. It is made up. up. He's talking about the effects. He just doesn't tell you that. So It seems like he's talking about all of it. I'm talking about the cause. You're talking about the effect, and you're calling that, no, no. saying that that effect is caused by gravity. You assume he meant the cause when he says gravity because you're ignoring that it's just an effect as well. It can't be a I'm cause. Can't be an effect. Effect. That's the word. Yeah. We use locally. Dude, you need to go look that up, don't anyway, you? Your own, no. your own logic is talking about the cause anyway. Your own, logic, your own logic was this. It doesn't matter what causes it, but th- that is just a fact of what we see. We the that fact that we it's... see, shut the fuck up. The fact that we see hey, things falling towards the ground, the fact that the fact that we see things falling towards the ground is is a fact, unarguable, simple as that. Exactly. It doesn't matter, doesn't matter, what, causes our... it, doesn't matter what causes it. That's something we have to agree on. That, that exactly. I agree with you. I agree with you one hundred percent. But I agree with you. I agree with you. Something falls to the ground. You have to go with that. That's a fact. It happened. Who cares what causes it? I don't give a fuck where, what causes gravity. Okay, gravity well then stop. The now hold on. There you go. See, now you're trying to slip gravity in as if it was the cause. Oh, so it's in. It's, it's in. You agree? Dub so you're over. just trying to be slick. You're just trying to be slick, dude, like before when you got I'm using out. your own logic against you. Your, your you're own not, you, dude, Stay. you're using your gravity. own logic against yourself. Your own reasoning? Your own logic? That means the word we use for the unknown cause as well, Slick, at the minute, colloquially. Well, like I said, I'm telling you, a cause and effect can't be the same thing. In it's our language, used. it is, though. We use the same okay, word. Okay, well, that's fine. Yeah, you're just deluding yourself. No, we use the same word because we haven't got the cause. Right, but you're deluding yourself. No, we're not. We just yes, use the same are. word. It's just a use of a word. It's not a delusion. Right. Okay, so it's not a thing. It's a use of a word for an unknown right, it's cause. It's a use of a word that doesn't exist. No, 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 what no, is no. It, it exists. This if is it's the not whole gravity, what is it? It's the description of an observed effect that we actually saw happen in reality. We don't know what the cause is. So then stop <laughs> saying the cause is gravity. Something <sighs> falling to the ground, the thing that is described in the formula that shows the effect... I'm is sorry, also, also attributed as the cause of other things. Okay, so I, let me hear you right. Are you saying that your effect and the cause is one and the same? No. No, we use the same Okay, so hold on. So here's where I'm having a problem. If you see the effect... As, if you see the effect... Hold on, dude, I'm trying to talk to the guy. If you see the effect as a thing falling down, then where does gravity come in? See, your problem That's what is, we call it. I know, I'm just asking you a question. I'm not asking you my problem. Your problem is context. I'm not looking for my problem. I'm asking you a question. And the answer is your problem is context. I don't have a problem. I'm asking you a question. And I'm answering your question. So your answer to my question is... I... My answer to your question is you have a problem and that problem is context. You don't understand the context okay. under which the answer is being given to you. Okay, explain the context. Tell me the difference between cause and effect in this context. The cause is the thing that have, you have been repeatedly told is something that we Dude, don't just yet tell understand. me. I didn't ask you anything about repeatedly. Tell me the difference between the cause and the effect in this context so I can understand. You can't sit there and demand an answer. And Dude, are you going to tell me or it. not? You're being really boss slick. Okay. Yeah, shut up slick and listen and learn. So what we attribute or refer to as gravity 
depends on the conversation that we're having. The actual known thing that we refer to as gravity is referred to in multiple places in scientific contexts, depending on the discussion that you're having. So some people just refer to gravity as what Newton discovered, you know, the simple F, F equals ma. Other people attribute um, relativity and the relativist, rel the relativistic formula that Einstein came up with, and they're referencing the formula. But when you're having a discussion about a rock falling towards the ground, we say the cause of that is gravity. When what we mean is we're observing the actual effect of gravity taking place. Okay. Now, all you've done is this. You said that you looked at an effect and you decided that that was gravity causing it. No, we looked now, at that's an what effect. I heard. See, this we is looked, the thing. You, why don't you talk simple? Can you happens. give me something? Listen, can you give me something without the long monologue so that I can hear what you're saying? Oh, you can explain it to you thoroughly, which is which is what you asked for. Dude, the explanation. dude went on a two-minute yeah. tirade, and all I asked him was to show <laughs> me... Where, dude, all I asked him was to show me that in this context, what is the cause and what is the fact, and how do they affect each other in this context? That's all I'm asking. understand the context. That's what he said. It was and easy for you, but you didn't take the answer. So then he explained it the long way. You're not taking the answer either. You don't understand the context, you fucking thick piece of shit. Yep. So I mean, if I can, I can ask my question again, it, no, I want to ask the question again. Let me. Maybe you didn't hear my question. Uh, In what uh, context does this differ from the cause and the effect? That's all I want to hear. I want you to hear you. I want to hear you address you. the cause and the effect. I don't want to hear anything about Newton and his equations and you're relativity and, and all that shit. I'm just yeah. asking about what is the difference between the cause and the effect in this context, and how does gravity fit in? That's all I want to know. Fine. Fine. If you want if you want to differentiate the difference between the cause and the effect, we would say the cause is curvature in space time, the effect is shit falls to the ground. Done. Okay, so did you just so so when you say the cause, hold on, so when you address the cause, did you do a scientific test to address this cause, or is this the story that you're just applying to the effect? Cavendish experiment is that test. Okay, but, but the bottom line, though, the, the I, thing I, is, I if the cause I doesn't matter, somebody... the cause doesn't matter, though. That's the whole point. Brummy, the guy is trying to say something. Matter, I heard your story. Slick, the, the cause Dude, I heard you. The other guy is trying to say something. You just repeating yourself Bro, over and over right again is not helping. Oh, you're, that's All a right. button on the kettle black. <laughs> All right, so let, let's, let's just take a situation that we know the effect of. I see somebody get shot by somebody. Is that the cause of their death? Because, I mean, there's, uh, it depends on the context. Yes, I was the human that caused his death. But now I can take that a little further. Okay, who made the gun and what made me do it? Um, what was the cause of his death was that my parents raised me wrong. Um, so that's what caused me to shoot the guy. And then there's also the cause of that gun was manufactured in manufacturing plants. And we can go all the way back to China when they invented gunpowder. There's, there's different levels of answer and cause. Do you follow that? Uh, okay, now in, let me ask you something. In oh, those I levels, I got a question for him. Now, in those levels, are you allowed to make anything up along the way? Well, I might make up the, uh, the actual inventor of gunpowder might have the wrong name. No, that's not what I'm asking you. I'm talking about in those levels of causes, can you just make up a cause like out of the clear blue sky and just attribute that as being a cause? Or does all of those causalities have to be factual? It doesn't matter what the cause is, though, James. Dude, it I'm talking matter. to him, bro. It doesn't matter. Your own bro, you says. said that, but I'm talking matter. to him now. It doesn't matter, though, does it? Bro, me, but I'm having a conversation with him. Can you Your allow it? But can you allow me and him to have a conversation, or are you not going to allow it? it? Matter, are you not either. going to allow it? I'm just asking you if you're going to allow it or not. You don't matter, Slick. That's the good thing. Okay, well, then, since really... it doesn't matter, and Brummy's That's not going to allow me and Moyak <laughs> to have a conversation, then there's no you point in me being here. Dude, you don't matter. That's the point. I was so trying to like... talk to Moyak. I was trying to have a conversation with Moyak, and you guys wouldn't let it happen, and I'm wondering why. 
Oh, you okay, I could say I know that that gun was manufactured somewhere. I know, but but this and is I not my, that's not what I'm asking you, Moyak. What I'm asking you is that along that chain of causality, can you just make up any cause in that chain, or do all of those causes have to be factual? Don't know. Let's see. His parents parents being bad. I don't know. That that might be the cause. That was a a uh, thing I made up. I'm so in other words, so earlier. so so in other words, you know that you shot the guy, but all the some of the causes of you shooting the guy, you could just make up. Maybe they are, maybe they're not. So is that what you're saying? Well, I, I, that's where we get into the part of we don't know. Okay. I mean, he probably had bad parents, and I made that part up. But okay. He was shot. That's for sure. The gun actually fired sure. the bullet. We can also tell scientifically that the way guns operate. Okay. Stuff like that. All right. I got that part. So when it comes to gravity and watching something fall, well, it's just like the person getting shot. You see the thing fall, but everything from that point, well, you don't know what's going on. You could just make up anything, right? No, we don't. We don't make it up. No, slick. no, I'm talking to Moyak, right, right Moyak? No, on I'm, that I'm same right example now. that you gave, the only facts that you have is that the person is shot. Now, when you start going into causality, now you just start making up reasons for why he got shot. But the only fact that you have is the person is shot, just like a thing falling. The only fact that you have is the thing fell. Now, when slick. you start making up causes of why it happened that you don't really slick. are not really sure, we admit, then that ain't going to work. We don't know the cause. We haven't made up a cause. We admit then stop we don't saying know. gravity. Then stop saying gravity. No, we're using that as the word for the minute. We have a word for right. an unknown That's cause. What's your issue with this? It's a in other words, it's a made-up word. You just made up some cause no, until you find it. it's the same word we use to describe the phenomenon. Because right. we have well, a made up. Cause. Why do you have oh, such an issue with yeah. using a word for an unknown cause? Why, Be why do you have an issue because, with this? Because I have... All words are made up. Slick, all words are made up. <laughs> Why do you have an issue with us using a word that's easy to say that we all agree on for this unknown cause sometimes? Why do you have an because, issue with this? Because you're making shit up. You don't know no. if that thing is... We haven't I, made it no, up. You, asked just me a, you, you just asked just me a question. Used... Didn't you yeah, just but, ask me a question? And you're I just misunderstanding asked... my position before you, before you answer. We haven't made it up. It's just a word for the unknown cause. We admit we don't know it. Nothing's being made up. We're just using a word so that we know the phenomenon we're talking about, right? No problem. So, so you're not saying that gravity can do anything. It's just a word that. You're... No, we're saying gravity makes stuff fall towards us. Okay, well then, how can and, you do that? And it does orbital you're... mechanics. That's also what we yeah, say. But see, this is yeah. But you're making shit up when you do that. Oh, uh, not necessarily. Well, have you verified it? No, not personally. No, exactly. So you, like, not well, you well, personally. I'm happy using nobody the, I'm happy has. using the word gravity because it's an easy word and everyone agrees on it. I okay, don't know what it is. I don't know what it I'm, is. It's weird nature phenomenon. I'm happy using this I'm, word. This word's been happy, established. And I'm happy to tell you that you're just making shit up. I'm happy to tell you no, that. Rich, what have we made up? What have I made up in that part that I just explained? You made up that you made up a cause. No, no I didn't. No, we no, just no. told you. It's an unknown cause. We do not know the cause. Then stop saying gravity. Why? Gra gravity Why? Is Why do you have an because issue? You're, the, the, the reason we that I have an issue, for it. I'm trying to we answer you. The re it. Dude, you asked me a question. You got to let me answer. The reason that I have an issue is because when you say gravity, you're saying that that is the cause of the thing falling. That's why no, I have an don't. issue. That's because hold say. on. In one it's breath, you're saying say. you don't know the cause. And in the very next breath, you're saying gravity caused it. That's why no. I have no, 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 no. We yes, use the word yes, yes, gravity yes. to explain. We don't know the cause. We use a gravi the word gravity. You, That's just a word we use. You do have an issue. That's true. That's the truest thing you've ever said. Dude, like I said, you're saying that gravity is a cause, and at the same time, you're saying you don't know the cause. No, that ain't going to fly. I'm, what I'm saying is there is a cause, most probably, because all effects have causes, we've found. Okay. Yeah? But yeah. for the minute... While we don't know, we're going to call it gravity as a system. Right. You're going to make yeah. some shit up. Whether right. you like it make... or not. Whether you like it or not, that's what we call it. Yeah. You right? In other words, whether I like it or not, you're going to make shit up, right? Oh, no, we haven't no. made anything up. We don't you understand. Have. You made cause. up, you no, made made up made gravity up. for a cause. Made up. It's a word to describe the system that we don't fully know about yet. There's we, nothing we made up. We okay, so, thing so happening. So this happening. thing, let me ask you this. So this thing it. that you made up, this thing that we you made up, make Carter. anything up, Slick. You can't I know. keep so, saying this. Take it easy. You this, can't keep this saying word, it. Dude, take it easy. This no. word gravity. Okay, don't does keep this, saying it. 
Okay, I heard you. Now, this word gravity, does this word gravity have any ability to do anything? It has, it's a system, yes. It does stuff. I didn't You're ask asking you that. the wrong does, questions. It's a system that does stuff, yes. Maybe maybe I am asking the right questions and you can't answer. Yes, no, it does. You're, asking, you're misunderstanding the problem. So Maybe the you're thing, misunderstanding the problem. Right. We've observed a thing that actually happens in reality. Okay? No shit. We've built a theory you. around that. That's the theory of gravity. The actual cause is gravity, but we, we don't know what it is. The now, theory you just explains said. the effect. Now, notice how which, now I heard you say just there that we have a theory of what it is, and then you said the thing is causes it is gravity. See how no, we you have slip, a theory you just that explains double the spoke. effect, not the cause. Okay, now then you said about gravity. What did gravity have to do with it? Right. We uh, commonly refer to gravity as being the cause. We don't know what it is. The theory of gravity explains the effect that that cause causes. In other words, it's like this. Let me explain to you what I'm hearing. What I'm hearing is double speak. Now, you could take it any way you want. Yeah, but he just explained it really well. Not yeah, he explained it. No, he explained it. I don't know how I can make it any simpler than that. Listen, you know what? I'm not gonna be, listen, I'm not going to beat this conversation up because it's turning into a shouting match. I yeah. heard double speak. If you didn't think you were double speaking, that's you. you it sounded like double speak properly. to me. You didn't listen properly. Well, you can't force this this on me, Don. I heard double I'm speak. I'm not trying to. You're know, the one that's heard... having an issue with us using I'm a word. I'm not having an issue. I heard you double are. speak, Don. You're crying about the use of the word gravity. Don, I heard double speak, dude. Get over it. That's your issue for not listening properly. Yep. Now, that's it. Now, I'm not going to continue this argument because it's giving me a headache. Willful ignorance. Sure. Good on you, mate. Welcome. It's a word for a system. We don't fully understand it yet. This is the easiest way to say it. We use the word for the system. For, for, but, for all but, but listen, Don, the only thing that I'm trying to say, if you don't understand something yet, you can't give what you don't understand attributes. Slick, you know the universe, yeah? We don't know what caused this, but we still call it the universe, yeah? But the, we don't call the, the cause of the universe the universe, just not in that way. But we do this with gravity because it's a system. We've decided to use the same word. Hey, Slick. There's a uh, post from Carnivore a little bit up in the chat about gravity and its origins for the word. My signal was back in, so I don't know if you were talking to me or not. Yeah, I was talking to you, Slick. Okay, say it again because I just put back in my signal. I was saying there's a post from um, Carnivore. I looked just, it up in the chat about he just gravity. Reposted. I just reposted it? Okay. Rather than this me reading it. where it says by, con by con Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, our word gravity and it's more precise der derivative gravitation. Yeah, that. Right. Yeah, it comes from weight. Yeah, and I think meaning heavy. I think the you know the 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 claim that science understands everything is 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 not there. I mean, the fact that we understand a certain amount of things through testing and retesting and then observation, you know, is 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 evidence that you know we're on the right track type thing. You know, but gravity gravity is not just used for the one one purpose. And I think the idea of gravity being you know the word that we throw in it it's the effect that we that we witness and can measure and can repeat and can build things and you know orient ourselves around the forces of gravity or the effects of gravity and I, you know the idea that we don't know its ultimate cause is is true but what's causing the gravity on earth and the bending of space time is worked out when we've you know found um planets and and things in the solar system using um, gravitational lensing where right the, sheeple, the listen, of... sheeple i understand where you're going but this is what you're saying in a nutshell we know yeah. we don't know the cause but we know the cause that's what you're saying in so many ways right. stop stop doing that slip because it's boring now 
But the point is, the uh, only reason this conversation is going. I know, but I was talking. I was talking to sheeple. But I was talking to sheeple. Hold on. I was talking to sheeple. The only reason the conversation exists. I know, but I was talking to sheeple, Brummy. You can't just fucking drop it. Wait till sheeple is finished before you just cut him off. Have some I'm respect, not, dude. Yeah, you've just said the same thing before. I know, but I was talking to sheeple, dude. I if I can't care, talk, I if I can't I talk to it. sheeple, then I'll just go on deafen because I don't I want nobody Swift. telling me that I can't talk Shut to up, sheeple. Swift. Shut up, Swift. Now, if I can't Swift. talk to sheeple, I'm out. It's just Swift. that Swift. simple. Can can I talk to sheeple or not? Just tell Swift. me yes or no right now. Triggered. Can I talk to sheeple or no? Triggered. I am talk to Sheeple, man. Okay, so now, Sheeple, do you understand what I'm saying? What it sounds like to me in so many words, what they're saying is we don't know the cause, but we know the cause. See, that's what it sounds like to me when I listen to these explanations. Right, I get what you're saying. But what I'm saying is what causes our gravity is measured to be the bending of space-time, and that can be tested with, like I was saying, gravitational lensing where the, the light of a, a star is, is pulled towards, you know, and... An, a distant object in the sky it actually sucks in the light. Now, what causes our bending of space time is not known, but the cause for the gravity is, you know, the current, you know, current consensus that it is the bending of space time. What causes the bending of space time is irrelevant from the fact that the result of that bent space time that we can witness and test is causing gravity. So right. gravity is still valid because, like I said, it's the it's the it's the um, tested and measurable thing that we do, and we put it into everything. We put it into right. the most simplest thing, like weights at the gym. You know, but you're talking the, about you know, I know, but but going to space time, you're talking about that image where they think that they can see something through another object because it bent around it because of space time, correct? So I've seen that image, right? So you know, I know it that we're on the same page. I don't yeah. think that's, like, that's a completely seen different it. topic, slick, but whatever. No, it's not because me and Sheeple were just talking about bending of space time, and he explained to me how they verified the bending of space time by seeing the gravitational lensing through an object. Oh, right. okay. That's one of the verifications. Okay. Yeah, there, yeah, there's a right, few. So there's we are. Few, yeah, there's a few of those bending of space time things witnessed, um, and also you know much bigger objects like. Um, like Jupiter, for example, you know, it actually keeps things in balance as well. And if it wasn't there, it might it might be bad for us, you know. So all of these different things that we that we've worked out. But here's the thing: science has the door open um, to be refuted, and for a greater theory than the formula for gravity to be introduced. But so far, all that happens is the ideas of gravity are refined. Or used, you know. There's nothing just throwing it out, and I think that 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 has to be, you know, that that has to be, t you know, acknowledged. People, I hear you. I understand. This is what I understand. See, I would understand science much better if they just come out and say they know the cause, because they keep on saying, "Well, this is happening. We're identifying this is happening. We got all this evidence, but we're too scared to pull a trigger and say we know what the cause is." If you have the cause, then say that instead of saying, "Well, we're not sure. We're guessing that is this. They we just don't, don't know." Me. But see, at the same time, you can't know and not know at the same time. It just doesn't work. Some that people way. claim to know the cause of gravity now, and they call it space time. Like you're just going over, yeah, but. It's still a theory. We can't prove it's definitely space time. So you can I mean? take so, you can take the argument back one level and say I believe in gravity, but you've got no cause for space time. But right. So but why are you thing. saying space time? But Don, 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 here's the problem. You can't have evidence for space time being a cause of uh, things uh, doing gravity. the things they do, and then say that you can't call it. You can't be sure. So you're right. saying two things at once. Oh, we're saying you're some say, people. You're have saying theorized. I'm sure. You're saying I'm sure, but I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure at all. Some people are sure, and some people are theorized. About, and I'm in general, in we science. call it a theory, the theory of space-time. I know, but even in science, they're basically double-speaking. They're saying we know, but we don't know. Yes, science does do that a bit. Yeah, yeah and that's a problem. Yeah. Stop doing What they should do is stop doing that. Either you know or you don't know. Stop mixing the two up in the same okay. phrase. We know, yeah, we yeah, know, but we don't know. It's very hard for someone to say, here's my full theory, but we don't know this bit. It's hard for people to say this each time, every time. Well, so, then just say you don't know and leave it at that. Don't mix the two together saying we know, but we don't know. That's okay. stupid.
you're begging the wrong people here. Like we're not the scientists. I, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. Like, but ultimately, we don't know the ultimate first cause or the first mover. You know, so you know, like Dawn was saying about the beginning of the universe and things like that. But here's 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 the the problem I have with just leaving it alone. If we don't know or refine or work with what we can work with, you know, with the testable and repeatable, which we've labeled gravity, nothing would get built. Nothing would get developed because we wouldn't have the formulas. You know, we couldn't build boats, cars, buildings, fucking anything. So based on what you just said, Sheeple, then you should be able to say, we know. Because if you couldn't build anything without this, well, then you must know that it has to be that. Or how could you build anything? See what I'm saying? There's no need to make this statement, we know, but we don't know. That means all you have to do is pull the trigger. Just pull the trigger and say, we know. You can have a half understanding. There is a simple answer to that question that you just asked. Now, we do know how it works in the sense of what happens. Do you understand what I mean by that? In other words, you made the observation. You see the observation. That's what you mean. All the measurements, calculations, all that. The observations. We know how that part works. Okay. Everybody knows how the observation part works. Okay. So that that much of it we know. We know. Everybody knows that. Yeah. But we we don't know why. Exactly. Why do do this? So stop saying that you do. Wait, wait, wait. But that does, not knowing. Let's take the space time bending example. Okay. In that okay. explanation, even there, we don't know why mass warps space time. But let me ask you this, Curve. Do you okay. know that it does? Do you oh, know wait, that wait. it does? Wait, I said in that explanation. I know, and I'm asking you. why. I, we don't know why it does, but that doesn't mean that we don't know that it does. Well, that's and what I'm asking you. Do you know that it does? I know that something happens. I don't know that that particular explanation is actually correct. I don't know that myself. Right. Exactly. See, I can't see. This is a, this is a thin but, curve. Nobody okay, can give a straight you answer. Curve. The only thing, I, the only thing Slick I'm saying out. is nobody can give a straight answer. You're getting the straight goddamn answer right now, motherfucker. Listen to it. Not knowing why does not negate the fact that we know to what extent it does what it does. Get that through that sick thick sack of shit on your fucking head. Okay. I already did, and it's the same thing as before. You're saying we know, but we don't know. I got that through my head already. That is not That's what what you're saying. saying. That is exactly what you're saying. No. This is a childish bitch move on your part to play this stupid fucking game. The point has been made I'm not dealing with you on this anymore, but I did give you what you asked for. And I got I got my I got my answer. You you can get triggered if you want to, but I got my answer because you said yourself, if I reduce it down to one phrase, you said we know, but we don't know. You said the same thing that Sheeple said. Same thing. We know, but we don't know. I asked you I asked you a question, you couldn't give me a straight answer. That's not the way to phrase it. You're being a disingenuous cunt, and you know it. And you couldn't give me a straight no. answer. And if that and makes so if that makes me up. a disingenuous cunt because you can't give me a straight joke. answer, then that's fine. You're a goddamn joke, and you're not even. Yeah, I know. Anymore. It seems like you're getting upset. No, I'm getting coffee. Uh, Slick, no. uh, can you clarify what you mean exactly? What he, but what I mean is this: you're saying that you know something, and in the very next breath, saying we don't know. Because I asked him a straight answer. Does space-time bend? All he had to do was say yes or no, but he went on his long tirade that never answered, gave me a straight answer. You know it. So are you saying we shouldn't claim anything about it? What I'm saying is claim what you know. I I thought you were going to get some coffee. I gave a God. I was. And now you're lying about me. I did say I don't know on that. Hear me. Listen, Listen to I me. said I'm looking for a straight I'm answer. I'm just looking for I a straight answer. I don't know. I said I don't know. 
shut your lying piece of shit mouth. Right. And, and then you continue. And then you I continue to talk. Goddamn, I don't know answer on that. And then you continue to talk as if you a did. A different explanation for something, a different part of it. And as far as this fucking, we know, but we don't know. They are two different fucking aspects of it. One that we know and one that we don't. Shut up. That's the why I, I, I was trying to understand which part did you do know. That's the part I was trying to find. I do know that you deserve the death penalty. That I okay. know. Okay. We know the effect. Well, I, we don't know the cause. Is that simple? Thank you. That's that simple. That's all I'm trying to say. I've been trying. That's the only thing that I've been saying this whole time. Well, you've been told that at least six times. Well, dude, you, you don't that. need to tell me that because anybody can see the effect. Anybody <laughs> I can told watch you at least the, twice. Anybody can see the effect. But when you start talking about what the cause is, and then you say we don't know what the cause is, but we know what the cause is. That's double speak. We didn't say that though. Yes, you did. Oh, no, no one said what you heard. That's not what I heard. That is exactly what you're saying. Oh, when you say that you don't know the cause, really when you say that I don't know the cause, but we know the cause. No, none of us said that. No one yes, said you are. that. No. Do you want to know what we did say? Again. Then let me ask you. Let me ask you just straight up, and you give me a straight. Can can an object attract another object? I just need a straight. Yes. By by virtue of its existence. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Have you not seen it? Every day. No, I, ha I haven't seen it. You not seen the object called Earth attract your keys every time you drop no, it? No, I no, I have not. All seen the way it. through your life. I've seen no. I've seen my keys have weight to them, and the air can support them. So yep. that That's if it, I mate. drop wait. them, then they're going to fall to something that can yeah, support them. Grab. Grab. Now that That's doesn't mean that my meaning. keys. That wait. doesn't mean my keys were pulled down. That's literally the meaning where the word gravity come from, weight and line. Okay, so that so all that means is that objects have their own weight and they and if, and they function under sure, their if, if you want to say that, sure. So there's no attraction going on. Yeah, Thank you. there is attraction every day. There's no bending of space time and there's no attraction. I don't know about things. Just, things time, just have their own weight and they respond to that understanding that things have their yeah, own sure, weight. Yeah, sure, well, well, sure. It's that simple. Yeah, sure. Now, you have to start making shit up when you have to have shit pulling from the center. That's where the problem comes in because wow. now you got to decide that because if you don't have something pulling from the center, now you can't have shit that's antipodal to you upside down. No one has See, that said that. Work. That's a good point, Slick, but we've all observed a globe Earth and we've all observed stuff for We ain't down. all observed. We ain't all so did shit. Together makes we ain't all did a better. motherfucking thing. No, we haven't all done anything. Well, we all, as in... Humanity. Yeah, you all. In other words, you all. Yeah, you all. Yeah, say yeah, okay. you all. Us. There is no we. Them. Let me say them. They've all they've all decided and observed it's a globe Earth. They've all yeah. observed and decided the Earth's attracting stuff when stuff drops. And together that makes a central attraction. Okay, this is and what then I'm you saying. create orbital mechanics around that. See, this is this is where you guys are so afraid to pull the trigger now you're saying that the earth is a globe now the only way that that is even remotely possible is that gravity has to have this center force attraction I, I well, that it. It, could a, it could be a spin for some other dude, I, dude, I was almost yeah. finished i don't know what's the problem i, I wasn't taking long. i thought you'd finish sorry no i wasn't so the thing is that in order for this to be a globe, gravity has to be a thing that's pulling everything to its center. Now, if that has to be, then you should be able to commit to the thing that gravity is, and you know what it is. If you can't commit, then motherfucker, you're just making shit up. You're, that right, means you you're making me up your globe. You're making up everything. Do you want me to commit, pretend to commit? No, I don't see what I mean. Do you want me to commit, pretend to commit? See how you just yeah. double speak? Yeah, that's you're talking speak. to someone that doesn't really fully believe in the space time and all of this stuff. Right, so, so you just double, yeah. So then this double speak, dude. No, it's not double speak. You I'm explaining their listen, model to you because you're very. You can't confused listen. About it. You cannot say that the Earth is a globe and then you say that you don't know how gravity works. You don't know if that gravity just, is really a thing. All you can, can see that. is the effect. Well, I can say that. It, it doesn't make any sense. It's it's what I was going to say be before, be. Slick. It could be how a sphere. How are you going to have oceans being? Yeah, my fault. It could be a spare for some other godly reason. 
right? So it's like, or maybe it's, it's not as, or maybe it's not a sphere at all. That's maybe. another option. Maybe. You got any evidence to, to back that up? Well, so the only like, evidence I have so far is that this gravity thing nobody can back up. That's the evidence I got right. so far. You've exposed that we don't know the cause fully, and we've only got theory for it. And right, no. What I've exposed is that you're trying uh, to take an effect, and you're assigning a cause, and you're assigning this cause to uh, be gravity. No, and in order for that, and in, hold on, let me finish. Word. Now, Dawn, now let me finish. Now you got to have the same respect. Yeah, but you're getting it wrong again. Uh, something okay, that we well, just. Maybe, but, but you got it wrong, and I didn't interrupt you. I let you well, finish. I didn't, I didn't get anything wrong. How long are you going to keep this lie up for? Keep what lie up? You've been told repeatedly. That's not what we're saying. I, I know what you're saying. You're saying that we know, but we don't know. I know what you're saying. No, that's not what we're saying. It's not what have we're saying. Have a quick saying. question for Slip. Can I get a then, word in, please? Then, Can I get a word in, please? Go all in, dude. Go all in 100%. Guys, guys, I've just sat here for like an half an hour being muted for... I just wanted to say, this is, the whole reason I brought this gravity conversation up is because Slick made a point at the very beginning saying... It doesn't matter why facts are there. The fact that they're there, the cause of them doesn't matter. So I said to him, it's just like gravity. The cause of it doesn't matter. But the fact is we can address that something is there. And that's it. And then that's his own logic against him. It doesn't matter what the cause is. Slick. So stop Don't telling go. people to explain the cause. The fact is we do, we do observe things falling towards keep the ground. Saying but, it. Yeah, that's wait, a good point. Can, can we bring this down? Just keep on saying it over and over again. Let's it's bring this down it's down you trying point. to push this cause oh, me... thing. That wasn't even Rummy's point. That is a good point. Exactly. Uh, point to to point. All right. So, hold on. So we know we exist, but we don't know how we exist. So how could you claim we exist? Okay. Here's the difference. There's a difference between knowing what existence is, like you know something exists. But now, when you say, "Well, I don't know how it exists, but I think the cause is this," that's where the problem comes in. Because if you don't know the cause, you can't make one up. Now, when you see things fall, you can't say, well, I don't know the cause, but I'm going to call it gravity. That's making shit up. Oh, what anyone said in the room. Nobody said that once the whole time everyone's been speaking. You don't Dude, listen to your, people. Your whole You're not listening to nobody. That. You're not listening to anyone in this room. Nobody once said what you've just said. But the point being is, right, it doesn't matter what your own logic was. The reason that something exists is exist. It doesn't matter what causes it. It just is a fact. Now, there is, there is a fact that things fall towards the ground. You want to call it the, the weight. Someone else wants to call it gravity. That's irrelevant. And what causes it is absolutely irrelevant by your own logic. So I'd like you to explain. Stop, stop to asking everyone to explain the cause of it. Because by your own logic, the cause of things doesn't matter. Like, we are, we, are, we are alive now. We exist. The fact is, we're all alive. The cause of okay. it is irrelevant. The same with okay, gravity. Now, the same with everything. Dude, I heard you. Now, let me tell you why it is relevant. Because if gravity is what's making this thing a globe. Now, if gravity is irrelevant, then you don't have a globe. So it is relevant. Oh, no, he said the cause. He didn't say gravity. But gravity has to be your cause, dude. No. No. Then how do you have an Earth if gravity is not holding like you, it together? Like you just said, you just uh, said it's man. weight. You just said it's weight, okay? You said it's weight of keys that's falling towards the ground. The air can't support it. It's the weight that's bringing it down. Can I, I, let know, me ask you, you this. Look, look, it doesn't matter. Things fall towards the ground. Whether you want to call let it weight, ask... whether you want to call it weight or not. Life exists. Whether, why, why it exists doesn't matter. The cause is irrelevant. The okay, I heard you, dude. Just... You just keep repeating well, then yourself. Answer my question, then, and answer my question that I've asked you then. Oh, man. I, dude, you just keep rattling so much. I don't even know whether you're asking a question or you're just babbling. Answer the question, and don't answer a different question. A Dude, question. I don't know what question. You just rattled off so much shit, I don't right, know what you're talking right, about. Right, your own logic, right? The, the fact that what the cause of something is irrelevant, but the fact that if something exists, and we can, and we can address it, the fact is that it exists. Yes or no? Yes, if it's something exists, it exists. Okay, so things fall into towards the, the, the Earth... Whether it's, whether it's gravity causing it or whether it's weight causing it, can we agree that something is falling towards the ground? Everybody can observe that. No problem. Go ahead. All right, cool. So why are you arguing with everyone about the cause? Because here's the reason I'm arguing about the cause. The cause is what makes Earth a globe. So it's globe. this cause is very relevant. You said, you said the cause of things is irrelevant. The fact is, a fact is a fact, and you just have to accept facts. That's how you, that's how you deal with experience in your life. It, it sounds to me what the confusion here is, 
No, I understand the difference between the, between the, the cause and the cause with the word gravity. Yeah. Well, so hang on a minute. No, well, I think it's, there's a confusion here between the cause and the explanation for the cause. Yeah, well, what I was going to say is we've got this effect. We've documented it. We've observed mm. it. It actually happens in reality. Slick agrees it happens in reality. But the sure. only way the Earth can be round is if we can explain the cause. That's bullshit. That's not what I yep. said. What That's I exactly said was what you an... Said. Uh, no, dude, I'll tell you what said. I said instead of you trying to put words in my mouth. You're telling you me. The only way the earth hold on, dude. Why don't you let me say it? Why don't you let me explain it myself instead of you telling me what I said? That'll be much better. Now, you're telling me that the earth is a globe. And you're telling me that the reason the earth is a globe is because everything is pulled to the center by gravity. Now, I'm not telling you that. You're telling me that. Yeah, but that's not the proof of the, of the earth, of the, of the globe. Like that's the explanation in full. But if somebody were to say that we know the Earth is a globe, and we found out something different about gravity, like gravity is something else, and it doesn't do anything we said it does, or whatever else, it, that would be independent of the Earth. Like we understand the Earth to be what the Earth is, regardless of what gravity is. Okay. Now, based on what you just said, Kosho. So this thing about things being pulled towards the center, this may or may not be the case. Is that what you're saying? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that the I'm just not clear. In other words, I'm just not clear. Okay. I, I'm going to clear it up for you, buddy. The, uh, the, the, those two ideas, the Earth being a sphere and the measurements of it, and gravity possibly being the cause of that, that spherical shape of the Earth, those two things separately are independent, meaning that uh, gravity on its own can be shown to be true, and the Earth being a globe on, on, on its own without gravity can be shown to be true. So is that clear? Cleared up. So now yeah, it's cleared they're up. They're not conflated, basically. You're conflating them. Yeah, I'm, not necessarily I'm just cold. trying to get a clear explanation. So I'm asking Kosho. So are you saying that clears it up for me now? So that because of what I'm understanding is that in your science, uh, the Earth is happening because everything is being pulled towards the center. This is why oceans are able oh, to be all over. Else. Dude, I'm talking to Kosho. Be sorry, relaxed. sorry, sorry, sorry. So, but just, okay, so you understand, Kosho, what I'm saying? If oceans are being held all the way around it, are you saying that that may not be because everything is being pulled towards the center? No, I'm not, I'm not saying that at all. I'm what saying that these saying? two things, these two things which I both hold are true, and I do also say that that is, one leads to the other. So that is the reason, like, gravity existing is the reason why the oceans form around the earth in my opinion but the thing is without the whole without any understanding of gravity whatsoever uh you can def you can define the shapes of the earth and the condition of the water and uh, all these things without um needing to understand gravity at all so it's true that both these things are true and they're consistent with one another but it's not that i need to believe in gravity to believe that the earth's a globe you can measure the earth and actually they, they have measured the entire earth as a globe the size and everything, without even knowing what gravity was. Okay. But now, Kosho, oh, let me ask you a question. Now, without gravity, though, wouldn't the oceans fall off with if gravity wasn't oh, holding everything to the center? Some Dude, I'm just asking, Coach. Right. Dude, just let me and Coach talk. Dude, yeah, but but for for just for a couple of minutes, Dude. I told you this. It could Dude, be another just reason. for a couple of minutes. Dude, Coach, that's all I ask. The original question. Dude, using, I just want to talk to him for a few minutes. Dude, is that please a problem? Please remember what I said to you when we were talking. So I can't talk. I know, but we're, we're, it could can be I talk? Reason. Dude, can I just I talk to the guy? You're using well, I mean, if it's a problem, listen, if it's a problem, I'll go away, dude. If I can't talk you're to the man, I'll be glad to leave. I'm going to hand this off to one of you guys, but you guys stop doing this because it's it's it, it slows everything I'm down i said what slick is i'm not gonna ask you to die for that already asked me the question to one show, guys, somebody else. it could be another reason so he's repeating. i'm just saying you you guys got to be respectful of everybody else in here and when you do that you slow that you just pause the conversation you slow it down and now we're just complaining about people talking over i understand but he has to know when he's repeating and not listening to people but Slick, Slick is using you to divert from the original question that he was asked. You, I'm going to pass him over, pass him back to one of you guys. You, you guys do, do whatever, I, but just, just I don't just, interrupt I just, no, I just I don't and I don't want to interrupt in general, but also people need to understand that Slick is the one who's causing the confusion because he gets asked the question, and when you, get, when you pin him down on the question, someone else interjects to clear up what he misunderstands, and then he starts to question that person that interjects, and the com then we never yeah. get to the point, and he keeps getting further and further away from it, and he's been doing this for the last hour. So I want to pin him down on the question that was asked. 
He says the causes don't don't matter. So why does the cause matter? He then explained why he thought the cause was relevant because of the curvature of the Earth. You then explained what that wasn't, and then he wanted to ask you questions on that, and that's just going further away again. So I had to say to him, stop, stop trying to slick away and try to get away again. Answer the question of why it's relevant. And now you've pointed out that it isn't, you know, that it doesn't. It's the separate issues. You don't need to clarify the Earth. Now, he's definitely now. Well. There you go. You've been caught out, right? It's the same thing over and over and over. I just want to put an end to it. I'm not trying to interject because I want to be heard. I just, I can see what he's doing. I'm saying to right. He was trying to divert to what is the cause of the water staying on, if not gravity. But I've already told him it could be anything else. That's not the point right now. We can still tell it's a globe. So you've done a bad conflation. Please admit it. But I just want to ask. But I just want to ask Kosho. Can I ask Kosho? But can I just ask Kosho this question? Are you not going to let me answer the question? Oh my God! This is you're it. You're never supposed to be doing that. The thing you were just doing, also. I haven't been doing it for the last hour. Then I've been muted for like fucking three or four times. And... It's not Kosho's fault. It just Kosho doesn't like when we all interrupt each other. I, I agree. I, I don't want to. Promise, promise. 